One, two, three. Crip oh, oh, awesome. I love this one. That's, that's what I actually, I wanted that one for you guys. <laughs> Sammy D here. I'm in front of my favorite thrift store of all time, a Goodwill in East Harlem. I'm here with the ladies of Cubicle Chic, a website that proves that dressing for work does not have to be boring. And that is what we're gonna, about to do here at this Goodwill, prove that thrift store shopping doesn't have to be boring with Thrift Wars, where the Woo! ladies of Cubicle Chic picked their designer look from the runway. I've got mine. We're gonna head into the thrift store with 40 bucks and the mission to find a look as comparable as possible to this designer off the runway style. And guess what guys? You're gonna be able to vote for which look you prefer. Mine or cubicle sheets. So let's get on in there. Let's thrift our way down the runway. And I think you ladies are going down. We'll see Bring you it, guys. Sammy. Bring it. All right. I know you guys are new to thrift stores. I totally understand this place is massive, but I have a lot to explore, you have a lot to explore, so I gotta go jet, so I'll see you later. Goodbye and good luck. I'm looking for a blouse with like a lot of ruffles because that's what this is, and short sleeved, so I feel like I can find that. Oh, and it has to be white. There's a lot here. <laughs> I'm actually kind of feeling overwhelmed, for reals. Um, let's see what you can find here. Not gonna work. No, that's not going to work. The tours is harder than I thought. I'm just straight up looking for white. When I see white, I pull it out. That's a fun top, but that's not going to work. This doesn't, all right, it doesn't have the ruffles, but you can see it's short sleeves and it's white and it has this, this open button. I see, I think there's buttons there. And this is a Liz Claiborne top, it's petite medium, and I can open up these buttons and I can maybe even add a scarf with ruffles to pretend that there is ruffles appended to the shirt. So I'm gonna hold this one, but we'll see if I can find something better in another aisle. All right, I pulled this out because I love it for myself, but then I got to thinking, it has that ruffle action um, right here with the flowers that kind of resembles the shirt. It, it's a different cut, it, it is almost a blazer, but it has a yellow, where's the yellow? There we go. See that little yellow um, tag there? That denotes that this is half off, so I don't know, blue, which isn't half off, or yellow, which is, with $40, and I want to get everything in this look so that I can win. I think I'm going to go with the sale item. I love this skirt, and I thought at first it was going to work, but I'm noticing that these um, lines of this plaid are vertical, and this is diagonal, so I'm going to take that into consideration. I'm just going to hold on to it and see if I find something better. All right, I think I'm striking out. I just found a, a J. Crew um, plaid skirt. kind of resembles, but... It's not, it's not what I want, so I'm gonna put it back. I'm still not really happy with this one. I have to keep digging. I don't know what Cubicle Chic's doing, but I, you know, I better get on my A game. What about this blazer? <laughs> um, I mean, it has the pattern. No, it's totally the wrong color. We're supposed to be looking for blue. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I see? Can I see? What's this one? I mean, Let me it's see your got look. the pattern going on. It does. It does have like that but really it's embellished. it's a totally wrong color. But it's supposed it's to be not blue. the right color. What about this one? I think one? we should focus on blue. Look at the sun. That's almost that. dead on. Yeah. And it's vintage. Yay! You guys, this was Lindsay's first oh my laser gosh. suggestion. <laughs> she said, oh, oh it's blue. blue and it has patterns. It has blue and brown and like patterns. On the things. inside too. Oh my gosh. It's I, definitely kind it, of special. Meredith said it looks like, like a carpet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does. Oh, see, so pretty. It's great. I love it. I'm in my favorite section of any thrift store belts. I love belts. I own so many of them. But I think I found the belt for this look. It's actually, it's a guess. So it's designer, designer thrifted, and it looks exactly like that belt, which is, it's kind of like a reddish brown. So there's a big difference between this and this darker brown, which wouldn't really work for the look if I want to be as accurate as possible. So I think this is my lucky belt, and I have one more step, and that's to find the hat. Can you hold it, hold it like a clutch like this? Right, right, right. 
you hide, hide the strap or something. I but think then there's this one. one. Better. I think I like this one. Yeah. Well, yeah. Someone got their lipstick on it. I like this pair, I think. I don't know. I think these are better. Well, hey, ladies, how you doing? Hey, Sam. Are these, is this the, which pair are you choosing here? Is this the outfit? I like this pair of trousers. Lindsay likes that pair of trousers. Well, all right, let's take a look. Okay, so I see here with the embroidery that matches the look. Yeah, exactly. Right? But, Lindsay, what, what's with these? Oh, I think that the color goes better with the true. top. And if yeah. you look, these are true ankle pants. They are ankle pants. These are definitely more to the knee. I can see that being an issue. All right, you guys have a serious conflict here. You're going to have to talk it out amongst yourselves. Wait, we haven't even been looking at the prices. Oh my oh god. No. You're How much so is this right. One? I don't even see a price tag. What about these? I don't see a price. Everything's free. I came into the men's section to try to find a, news, a newsboy hat that was brown. I All I found were baseball hats, so moment of defeat for Sammy. But I think what I'm going to do is exchange it for this um, fedora, which is clearly vintage. See, it's disintegrating on the inside. I think it will work for the look, but it's up to you guys to decide when you vote if you like what I found. Let me see. Oh, my God. You look oh, so Sammy, you look love it. Love it. You look so good. Jess, you look ready for work. I know. Right? I feel like I could go to work Absolutely. in this. It's kind of a blazer, mm -hmm. cute crop pants. And it matches the look really well. Yeah. So Designer we were inspired. able to keep it under $40. We're at, Sammy, we're at $39. No, wait, I'm at $39, too. You're $39 no, seriously, I'm at $39. So how much oh did everything gosh. cost? All right, let's see. So the sweater underneath is $10, and we kind of did a little bit of a layering thing here. Yeah. This was $6. $6 yeah. Um, and we kind of did a belt cinching thing because it's not exactly a blazer, but we wanted to make it look more like yeah, a blazer. Yeah, yeah, I see that. This is $3. That's beautiful. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have thought of that. These trousers are $6. So we decided on the dark gray. We, we did. did. Okay. We ultimately decided. You know what? The that was my vote. Oh, yeah, because they're ankle. They're just right. cut better. I think the other ones are This cost yeah. $4, How much is and the $4? shoes are $10. The shoes are 10 they are amazing. Shoes. And you can wear those anytime for yeah, anything. I know. They're, really They're nice amazing. Well. Yeah. Alright, well let me tell you how much mine was, because actually what I did is I added more than I originally thought. Alright, so I have some sale items. But first, the hat is $4.99. It's totally vintage. Love it. The skirt is half off, so it's $2.99. Wow. We didn't get switch. anything on sale. Oh, well, you know, it was the uh, yellow and the red tags today that were half off. Very nice. So if you had known, you could have gotten the on sale item. But uh, what else do I have? The belt was $2.99. The tops were each. One was half off. This one underneath I layered is $5.99, and this is vintage, so it was $2.99. I wanted this because it adds more of the ruffles here that you can see in the look. And then the shoes were $10, and they're just like a brown, and they match my belt, mm -hmm. like you had suggested. I love it. And the bangles were each $4, so it came to a grand total of $39. I thought I was going to hit $25, but then I started to accessorize. So now the next step is for you guys out there to decide who the winner is of this episode of Thrift Force. Is it going to be Sammy Davis Vintage or Cubicle Chic? And also let us know what you think of our outfits. Just leave some comments. Maybe you think I look too vintage, or you think Cubicle Chic doesn't look... I don't know what they're saying back there, but <laughs> how about you guys just vote for us, leave us comments, and we'll see you in the next episode of Fur Force.